I mix what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like. Um, okay, so so uh, uh, at least one more before I think we might have some guests show up that I wanted to get to, and then um, uh, is is because I and I was hoping and I'm still hoping that we can can get folks from uh, HU Resist or those protesting what's going on at Howard University. But I saw this clip from the other night, uh, and admittedly, for 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 maybe reasons separate from this incident this particular incident i found this to be particularly compelling uh but i so i just wanted to play it it, it, it was posted it's posted here from 2 a.m uh on october 13th so just the other day uh and i know uh or i understand that they're still out there so uh, you know a uh, full support and solidarity but but let's just check this out i'm I was... and what we are doing in there we are within our constitutional right to protest Anybody that is fearing or shying away from doing it, our ancestors bled to put up these institutions. We are literally walking on the yard of our ancestors. We We are literally at an HBCU campus for a reason. We are not here just to go to class. We are here to be leaders. We are here to be advocates. We are here to be change makers. So that was one one thing I wanted to 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 respond to that, that got my attention was again i'm admitting that i'm looking at this from this frame of what the hbcu is meant to mean and does mean in the consciousness or the mind's eye of our broader community and i want to invite people to to go to imixwhatilike.org and engage they'll find there on the front page engage my not a different world project please contribute if you can i'm still putting that together it's a long form longitudinal study um, but this is sort of what my point is. First of all, obviously she's giving a speech. This is not meant to be some, some recitation of, of, of the history, blah, blah, blah. But it is part of the mythology, this idea that we bled for these institutions. That's, that's, I don't read the history that way. Um, uh, maybe because we were willing to bleed for our freedom, these institutions were created and given in response um, someone in the background, you hear mention Stokely Car- Carmichael or Kwame Ture mm-hmm. in terms of the ancestors and the tradition. He struggled against the institution and then mm-hmm. left the institution to engage the struggle. So the idea that, again, by protesting the institution and staying as, and, and, and being a student there means that you automatically are part of the struggle or should be seen as part of the struggle, I think misunderstands what these institutions are there to do, which mm-hmm. leads to, I think, the kind of uh, uh, confused response, uh, it, it, understandable among students, and I think maybe understandable for different reasons among faculty and 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 surrounding area uh, community members. That this is that 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 these institutions would would be here to support these efforts, and and I think it, it anyway. So that was the, those institutions. Were, yeah. I mean, we talk about the actual history of them. I mean, whether it be. Uh, Howard or, or, you know, the place where I went, Hampton, um, they were, they were, they were founded in order to assimilate the newly uh, freed Africans into white society to be good servants right. for white people. Uh, they, they were talking about that they wanted to head, educate the head and the heart of the black person, the head uh, with, with information that would uh, again, make us subservient and pl- compliant with white folks to white folks and white supremacy and the heart of course they used a lot of uh you know christian you know western christian uh principles you know because a lot of these were more uh institution institutionally uh religious as well you know and that, this that's the model that that europeans have used everywhere with with indigenous peoples all over the planet uh was you know education is a socialization tool you know you can look at the work of gato uh, and, and several other, you know, and several yeah. others who went into all of that, what, what education is really about. Um, so, so basically that's what they were. So that's actually, that's the actual history. Uh, Samuel Chapman Armstrong, who, who, uh, was the founder of, of Hampton, for instance, was also a civil war uh, person, just like General Howard, who actually was largely responsible for the displacement of people in Hawaii and, and the empire, uh, 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 the black, you know, mostly or, or brown empire. Uh, folks there, and I wouldn't say empire, but brown, you know, uh, civilization there in, in Hawaii. He was largely responsible for 
for that. And also he had some uh, dealings with, uh, I believe, the Trail of Tears as well. So he was not and he the greatest was a, person. a benefactor of Booker T as well. Yeah, Booker T, you know, of course, uh, went, on, went on ahead and started uh, uh, Tuskegee, you know, as well. You know, but Booker T was like one of his right hand men. And he kind of used him as well as to further that kind of notion. So so that's really the history behind these things. They, they, they were not meant for liberation. I will say shout out to in some part to, to Howard because they are a lot more uh, they're a lot more rebellious than Hampton because Hampton is a place where, you know, you just go and get in line. They don't they don't protest down there. It's very. Yeah, I don't see much. You know, I agree. Yeah. I don't see much of that kind of political fervor at Morgan yes. either. Um, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, so again, I'm not, I'm not at all meaning to condemn what, what, right. what this sister or these students are doing. In fact, I support it. I'm just, it, just noticing the, the, they're young and they just don't, they need a little more guidance in terms of, you know, well, the, the but it's popular experience. mythology though. That's the, you know, and, and I don't think adults or faculty or people or, or anyone more seasoned is, is, is intervening enough. So, so yeah. it, I don't, you know, anyway, just a few more minutes of this. <laughs> Hell yeah! So what we have to do here is going to represent and influence HBCUs across the nation. Because there are so many demands and so many problems that HBCUs face, but they're not even looked at as legitimate. Everyone's trying to compare Howard to Harvard. Nobody want to go to Harvard, no way. Please. So with that being said, yes, we are going to be inside of Blackburn. TBB until our demands are met. You guys can come inside to see our demands. We're going to be having activities. We're going to be having know your rights training. We're going to make sure we, we keep us safe. Because who keeps us safe? We keep us safe. 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 Who shut shit down? We shut shit down. 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 Period. I'll see y'all inside. Right on. So, so shout out to them and and continued. Uh, I was just looking quickly at the, again um, uh, the the promise or peril book from William Corson, who who the 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 the, the former military, uh, uh, I guess, uh, professor at Howard, who who conducted this study of the potential for. Uh, black students to become part of the revolution and what the state and the universities needed to do to prevent that. So uh, um, uh, anyway, just th there's been a, a long term attempt to assess the potential for this activity to occur and for it to be uh, tipped into the the uh, favor of actual rebellion or, or revolutionary activity uh and uh um anyway so uh, and, and the intelligence but, agencies it, are, yeah. are, are recruiting big time uh, uh, i remember i was oh, there sure. for a program one time and i saw like a flyer up for like the nsa or something like that yeah like what it, but it makes sense so it, that's the legacy that that's the real legacy that's what they want you to do uh there at those schools so Shout out to brother Quow. Shout out to brother Quow, who was down in morehouse and and rejected the Rhodes scholarship back in like 99 He's one of my children's teachers uh, now. He and his wife for their school. Uh, so shout out to Brother Quile because he rejected that joint. I remember hearing. I have heard. It's, it's, it's a video on that, YouTube. There's a yeah, video on YouTube. Yeah. He, he was uh, giving his. He was giving a valedictorian speech, and he he laid it out. It's 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 classic. It's you, you should play it at some point on Black Power Media. Yeah. Yeah, we should. Well, I mean, you know. Uh, if you find it before me, send me the link and we'll, we'll definitely air it. Uh, I think that's a good point. Um, uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's pretty dope. Um, but anyway, so I just wanted to, to, again, I invite people to check out the, the, uh, uh not a different world project at I mix what I like .org. And, uh, if you've been a, a student or faculty or administrator or staff, uh, or parent of uh, uh, folks at HBCUs, I'd like to hear from you uh, in part just to deal with not only the specifics of these these issues being raised here, the issues of, of um, uh, uh, governance and uh, board of regents uh, um, uh, and you know student and faculty involvement with the board, engagement with the board, uh, but but uh, um, uh, uh, but all kinds of issues. Uh, 
and in fact, I thought we might have uh, someone on today, uh, but we 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 hosted the lawyer last week of uh, one of my colleagues, Dr. Leah Hollis at Morgan State. Um, and another one of my colleagues at Morgan State has engaged in is engaged in a, in a five million dollar federal lawsuit against Morgan. Um, and uh, her story is. Obviously, her lawyer will handle what could be said publicly. All I will say is what I heard off the record is is. And what has been documented on the record, at least in some instances, but I'll let them determine what what they would want to say or or focus on. It's outrageous. It's simply outrageous that anyone would have to suffer what these faculty are suffering. Uh, uh, and again, I have to say that that my own personal uh, struggle uh, is is uh, seems like a vacation. Uh, compared to to just these two, um, the experiences of just these two women faculty, uh, um, black women, women of the African diaspora, um, uh, one woman of the Muslim world uh, as well, uh, and what she has, what has been said to her. Talk about what people say out their mouth mm -hmm. that you can't believe that they said. Uh, it is, it is it, it, a, a clear, uh, uh, indication that, that we got a long, very, very long way to go. Um, so anyway, um, so look, uh, okay. You sent that video. Maybe we can come back to that. Um, but I did want to turn, uh, uh we do have a guest that's, that is uh, arriving here. So I did want to turn to him. Uh, and get to this discussion, but uh, maybe if we have time after, or or I don't know, we can come back to that, um, and uh, uh, or just play it in another time. You know, either either way. Um, so anyway, our next guest. Uh, and no, uh, notice, many, notice when yeah. notice when she said she said she said don't nobody want to go to Harvard. She ain't get too much. <laughs> <laughs> Some people, somebody might have been like, hell, I might want to go to Harvard. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. I'm sorry. That it's is actually funny, funny now that you mentioned it. Now that you mentioned it. <laughs> and and uh yeah, I bet some people were kind of like, uh, hold up now, slow your roll. I mix what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like.